Next, I'd like to demonstrate how we can rotate the plane of the polarization. To do that, I'm going to uh, again turn to the overhead projector. I'm going to put a piece of uh, polarizing material on the overhead. Turn on the overhead. And then I'm going to uh, put another piece of polarizing material on top of that and uh, orient it uh, 90 degrees with respect to the first piece. So if I could have the lights uh, down, please. Uh, first of all, we'll show what happens uh, again when the two are lined up in the same direction. And then if I rotate this 90 degrees, then we cut out the light. Now I'm going to take a third polarizer and insert that between the first two and uh, watch what happens. The light comes back. And depending upon how I orient this middle polarizer will determine whether the light uh, gets through or gets blocked. But what this middle polarizer does is it actually rotates the plane of polarization so that the light can then make it through this top polarizer and uh, show up on the screen. So the first polarizer, the bottom one, allows light to pass through in one direction. The top one allows light to pass through only in the other direction. And when we put the middle polarizer in between, it rotates the plane of polarization coming from the bottom or first polarizer and allows it to go through the top or the last polarizer so that by rotating the plane of polarization, we can have light again pass through the system. So two polarizers block the light, but three, if they're oriented properly, can allow the light to go back through. However, if I take this middle one and put it up on top, that doesn't do any good. It has to be between the two in order for the polarizer to rotate the plane of polarization because if there's no light coming through, there's nothing to rotate. Here it takes the light from the bottom polarizer, rotates it, and allows it to get through the top polarizer. Rotation of the plane of polarization.